Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a custom scroll bar using only HTML and CSS. This code will allow us to customize the appearance of scroll bar on the web page. So let's dive in and learn how it's done. We begin with the HTML code. Within the body tag, we have a div element with class container. This div acts as a container for our content and enables the scrolling functionality. Inside the container, we have a bunch of paragraph elements with lorem ipsum text. These are for demo purpose only. However, for the scroll bar to work properly on Firefox, it is essential that you have the div with class container. Let's copy paste the paragraph element multiple times so that we have a scroll bar. Now that we have a scroll bar, let's go to CSS and style it. To customize the scroll bar, we use vendor specific pseudo elements along with their non prefix counterparts. I will be explaining them in detail as we use them. For compatibility with different browsers, we define both the prefix and non prefix versions. The prefixed version is targeted at WebKit browsers like Chrome and Safari while the non-prefixed version is for other browsers like Firefox. Let us apply some styling to the paragraph element so that it is visible. Also, I have removed any padding and margin from the body element and set its box sizing to border box. For Firefox, we apply the styles directly to the container by selecting its class. We set the maximum height of the container to 100 VH, that is 100% of the viewport height and enable the vertical scrolling by setting the overflow Y property to scroll. For Firefox, we set the scroll bar color to a lighter shade of blue for the thumb and a darker shade of blue for the track. For both WebKit and non-WebKit browsers, we set the width of the scroll bar to 1.2 EM to make it slightly wider than the default width. The overflow X property is set to none to prevent horizontal scrolling. Next, we define the styles for track and thumb of the scroll bar using the pseudo elements. The track represents the background of scroll bar. We give it a border radius of 0.3 em for rounded corners and set the margin block property to 0.25 em to create a small gap between the track and the container's edges. The background color of the track is set to darker shade of blue. As you can see, we are setting the margin block. Now, the thumb represents the draggable part of the scroll bar. We also give it a border radius of 0.3 em for rounded corners. The background color is set to a gradient that starts with a light blue color on the left side and transitions to a darker blue color on the right side. This creates a visually appealing effect. And that's it. That's how you can create a custom scroll bar using HTML and CSS. You can further modify these styles to fit the theme of your website or application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.